Hey, 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 it's Dre, and if you're watching this, it's because you were on my channel. Today, we're going to be looking at the uh, first cauldron, or, I mean, depending what order you do, but generally the first cauldron you're going to be looking at. This is the Sigma cauldron, uh, which lets you hijack some nice little beasties, let me tell you. Uh, this is going to be sped up, so there's going to be some rough cuts here, uh, because I just want to go through the main thing. Uh, basically, a cauldron is a big metal thingamajigger, uh where there's a lot of beasts and then at the end there is a bigger beast that you have to take down. In this one it is a bellowback, you don't need to worry about that, I'll show you that later. Uh, but first off, you're going to open the door by hacking it like you would a strider and then you're just going to rappel down, it's a really long drop, I don't know how like she carries the rope like that, but it is what it is. There's a loot box right in here there's nothing much in it but there's some nice little supplies there if your resource bag can handle it you might as well grab them uh, and there's a lot of boxes like that throughout the area you can see them as you're scanning here to see if there's any but it's only the one there for now so then you'd have to go down this corridor forever and then you are given that little mini tutorial about vents which basically you have to shoot an arrow at and they'll cover you they're the tall grass for this area so uh, Nice little thing. I actually didn't really use them that much when I went in here, but uh, your playthrough might be different, so um, it's all up to you, really. So this washer kind of diddly daddlies right now. Uh, I think you actually do have to shoot the vent for him to turn around. I didn't actually see him turn around once I had the vent going, but it's what it is. You stab him, or shoot him, or beat him up, whatever you want to do, and then you move on to the rest. You could probably get through the whole area without actually alerting any watchers, but I like killing things, so you'll see me kill... A bunch of things. He he he. Now you're just gonna go down the path. There's nothing really special that I found, anyways. If uh, there's something else, please let me know. Uh, but there was nothing really special, so you just go forward, go forward. You do the drop. There's actually a blue loot box right below that drop, uh, and then you go down and you climb up the little ladder-ish thing here. You're gonna see these network up like things appear a few times in this cauldron. All you need to do is hack into them and it makes a little spiny whiny spaghetti bridge. Uh, I haven't really tried going on it while it was still attaching, so if you fall through because of that, don't blame me. So after more menial running through bland, well not bland, but boring hallways you're going to find a door that you open and then you walk down the little plateau and you're going to jump out of the cargo containers that are going by this begins a very long and really pointless ride through the cauldron i know it's really showing off the environment but it just doesn't really do much but you're going to be auto dropped onto the end of the corridor of the cauldron and you're gonna to have to make your way to the heart of this cauldron now now there's gonna be a few watchers right at the beginning here but you don't need to kill them right away your main focus is to jump on one of the floating cargo boxes to get across the bridge before you deal with any of the walkers because you need to get across is the only way I stupidly tried to jump the gap a few times and I took some of my health out before I realized hey I need to jump up there Make sure to keep all limbs inside the vehicle as it moves and when you're over the plateau then you can simply drop. Uh, you can go through this hallway, kill all the watchers, uh, there's a few different paths. I took one up to the right that you can actually climb up a little ledge and there's a green loot box there. Nice nifty stuff for me but I'm sure that there's stuff on the left. Uh, there's a bunch of watchers on the ground, there's one across a little cliff as well. And you can deal with all of them or pass but I'm pretty sure you're like me and you want the XP. But then at the end, where I am hanging on this cliff on the right side, there's a crab walker. Which is actually the first time I saw this enemy in this game. I knew they existed. Uh, but it was an interesting thing to try to take down. So I'm going to walk you guys through that too. So I recommend finishing off all the other watchers that are around before you go to take on the crab walker. And then I recommend you learn its pattern. And then you set up a bunch of blast trip shot traps because if you use the electro ones it it just prolongs the fight which is it you don't want it to go long because this thing hits hard so uh, i recommend probably stacking like five even i just go heavy on it because they're really easy to make so i wouldn't worry too much about it so just want to go through that you want to use your blast don't do what i did bad walk through bad bad draining bad 
There's not a lot to the crab enemies if you know what you're doing, if you didn't do what I did. Uh, but a few things to note is they do have a shield generator on their left arm, which you can actually shoot off if you want that component. They have a gun on their right, and they have a little underbelly that you can hit that really, really hurts them. So once you're done clearing up the crab walker, if you choose to engage it, you simply keep on pushing forward, there's a little ledge you have to climb up, and then you keep on moving and moving and moving. You then make a bridge, and then you keep moving and moving and moving. You made it! Congratulations, you are in the heart of the cauldron. There is a bellow back and a shield, and then there's a few watchers walking around it. Pop off those watchers, then move to the spire behind the bellow back. And actually behind that spire there's a nifty little purple loot box. I recommend grabbing that. But anyways, you climb up the spire and then you activate it and then it sifts down and then comes the uh, sort of boss fight for this cauldron, which is this bellowback. You've probably faced a bellowback having gone into this cauldron already, but if you haven't, they're fairly simple. They really actually, it, they're really stupidly easy to kill even at a low level. It's just... It takes longer if you're a lower level damage wise, you know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, so you dispatch them, nice and nifty. I was really sloppy here again, but ignore that, it's a, it's a battle. There's a bunch of watchers that come too, you can kind of pick them off if you just kind of randomly shoot some blast trip caster shots, you can do a lot of damage to the bellowback as well as a lot of damage and like one hit the watchers, which is really nice. So the next part is really simple, you just need to stick your thing inside the thing and penetrate it really good. It's Levioso. Ah, oh, Levioso. After an excruciatingly long elevator ride up, you're gonna be fast traveled up, ironically. It's not even like, it's gonna take forever and then it's like, uh, how about no? But anyways, then you're back up and you have successfully completed this cauldron. Congratulations, if you made it, you're alive. If you didn't make it, you're not probably alive or something. I don't know. But thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoy these walkthroughs slash tutorial things I'm doing, and if you actually want to see a Let's Play, let me know. Uh, but regardless, uh, please leave a like and subscribe if you do enjoy this. I do a lot of content on this channel, and I'm really trying to push out this whole walkthrough thing. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.